This is a tier list of every single weapon in Roblox Bed Wars. There is about 70 different weapons here, and we'll be rating them from God, Mid, Bad. I don't know what this is. All right, boys, we're starting off strong. I don't even know what this sword is. It's not even a sword, bro. It's an axe. I'm gonna have to put it in the I don't know what this is category, bro. I have no idea. <laughs> bro, I should be playing Lucky Block more. All right, so this is the Bear Claw or the Claws. I don't even know what it's called. Honestly, bro, I remember using this in Lucky Block. It's hella mid. I'm not gonna lie. It's hella mid. Next up, we got the Boba Blaster. This thing, like, explodes when you shoot the little Boba things. The little Boba Balls. The little Boba Balls. Wait, no. What's it called? The little Bubbles. Honestly, it's actually pretty good. All right, we've just added a row called Decent in between mid and good. All right, we're gonna put Boba Blaster in decent because it is pretty good, guys. You gotta admit. Next up, we got the normal bow. Just an average bow in Roblox Bed Wars. Honestly, boys, it's nothing too special. It's gonna go in mid. Some of you might disagree with that. I'm not gonna lie. But it is hella mid. All right, so next up, we have the carrot cannon. This thing is overpowered. I'm telling you right now, boys, if you get this item, which no longer exists, and shoot someone with it, they're finished. We're gonna put that in God tier, baby. Next up, we've got the charge shield. This is the shield, like, when you use it, it goes fully charged. Vroom. It is pretty good, but I don't really use it a lot. I'm going to put it behind the Boba Blaster. Next up, we've got the Condiment Gun. I'm not going to lie. I haven't used it enough to say if it's good or not. So we're going to put it in. I don't know what this is. Next up, we've got the Constellation Bow. I think this thing is pretty OP, boys. If it's the one I'm thinking of that shoots the little white um, balls, then this thing is going in god tier. Next up, we got the crossbow. Bro, come on. Who doesn't like the average crossbow? If you get the crossbow in the game, you instantly win. Let's be real. Unless the other team has better items, of course. But that's also going in god tier, but just at the end. Next up, we got the dagger. Right, boys. Right, I'm going to have to question anyone using the dagger. What are you guys doing? The dagger is the best weapon on Roblox Bed Wars. It's only good with Zephyr. Let's be real right now. So we're going to have to put it in the bad section. Now, this is the double-edged sword. Honestly, I haven't used it enough to say if it's good or not. So it's also going in. I don't know what it is. Bro, who put this drill in here? Since when huh? was a drill a weapon? Actually, you can do damage with the drill. I just realized. It does count as a weapon, boys. We're counting it. Drill's still going to go in bad, though, because it's a terrible weapon. Like, bro, who thinks, oh, yeah, I'm going to wake up and use a drill today? We're going to drill the enemies. Next up, we've got the egg launcher. This thing is actually decent. I remember you could shoot eggs out of it, and they actually explode, I think. I think. I think. All right, next up is the casual fireball. We're going to put the fireball in mid because it's not really a weapon. You use it for bed breaking. Actually, you know what? Screw that, it's going down a level. It ain't a weapon at all, boys. Next up, we got the flamethrower from the pyro kit. The flamethrower is actually overpowered if you max it out. And in certain game modes as well, it's also very OP. So I'm going to put that in decent. I don't think it's me in the god tier. It might be at the top of decent, to be honest. Not quite that god tier level. Next up, we got the floral bow from the lila kit. Okay, so the floral bow is going to go in decent since it does that tick damage. And then we've got the floral crossbow. That's also going to go in god just behind the constellation bow thing. And then we've got the big bad floral headhunter. This thing is going to go in god. This is so fun to use. And that's going to go above the constellation bow. Next up, We've got the Frosty Hammer. I think the Adatunde uses this hammer. This thing is only good if you do, like, max it out or something. We're at the top of mid, so it's, like, half decent, half mid. Next up, we've got the Frying Pan. We're gonna put it in bad. Bro, this looks like a good bad section. we got Dagger, Drill, Fireball, and Frying Pan. Okay, next up, we got the Golden Bow. This thing is good. This is going in the God tier. Guys, how does God tier have the most weapons? What is happening? Next up, we got the Golden Scythe. I think the Scythe does quite a lot of damage. I haven't actually used it that much, so we're going to put it in decent. I don't actually know the capabilities of this thing. Then after that, the Grappling Hook. I guess you can do a little damage with the Grappling Hook. It's mostly used for movement. Kind of bad for damage. There we go, boys. We put it in bad. Next up, we got the Hammer. Now, I've seen some users use the Hammer, bro. I don't know what it is with the Hammer, but the damage on it is insane. We're going to put it in decent, so it's not actually that bad. Following after Hammer is the normal Headhunter. 
Of course, the headhunter's gonna go in god tier, and that's gonna go just in front of the floral crossbow. Next up, we've got the hot dog bat. Like, bro, come on, man. The hot dog bat. That is hella mid. Next up, we've got the ice sword, and the ice sword actually applies a slow after, like, five hits or something. So it is all right, but it's, I'm gonna put it in decent, and I'm gonna put it above the charge shield. Next up, we've got the infernal saber, and this is from the ember kit, I'm pretty sure. This thing is kind of OP, I'm good. not gonna lie. This is going at the top of decent. Okay, so after that is the jackaboom. You get that from Farmer, basically. We're also gonna put that in decent, because, you know, it does quite a lot of damage. Next up, we've got the Jade Hammer. For a weapon, seriously, it's more of a movement item than a weapon. Let's be real. All right, that's also gonna go in bad, since it's not a weapon. The only thing it does is shoot the enemies up into the sky. It goes like, whee! Next up, we've got the knockback baguette. Bro, this thing in gun game, I struggle with, so it's going straight into bad. It also does hardly any damage. It just knocks you back. And following the knockback trend, we've got the fish. This thing is also garbage, bro. That's going to go in bad as well. Now we got the laser sword. It's a knockoff lightsaber, boys. And I'm also going to put it in decent because it is all right. This is the light sword, and it's from the Lumen kit. Recently, the Lumen's been getting the buffs. Every update, I'm seeing Lumen this, Lumen that, but it's still garbage. <laughs> We're going to put it in mid. Next up, we got the mass hammer. I'm also going to put that in mid because I remember using that, and it was a bit weird to use, I'm not going to lie. Next up, we got the necromancer staff. This is from the crypt kit, and this is like how you spawn the skeletons and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's also a bit mid. I've never really used a crypt kit. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what this item is. <laughs> We're putting that straight in there. I don't know what this is. Next up, we got the paint blaster. This is like a really short range weapon, I think. We're gonna put this in mid as well. Bro, the mid category is racking up all of the items. <laughs> What is a party popper, bro? Hell no, nah, we're putting that in bad. I don't know what that thing does. Next up, we've got the pirate sword. Since when was this in the game? Oh, it's for the Hannah. This thing is OP. We're putting that in god tier. Next up, we've got the rage blade. You guys already know where the rage blade's going. Come on now. Top tier weapon. The raven, straight to bad. Dynamite, uh, you used to be able to blow up a lot of beds. So we're going to put it in mid for weapon. But it does do a lot of damage. Next up, we've got the RPG. We're putting that in decent. That's going like the second to decent one. Next up, we got the scythe. Bro, before the scythe nerf, that was uh, god tier. Now, I'm just going to put it in bad. Let's be real. No one forges the scythe anymore. Comment who forges the scythe because I know I don't. Next up, we got the sparkler. Don't know what this thing does. This is the spear from the Ares kit. It does quite a lot of damage, but it is still mid since it costs like 60 iron per spear. Next up, we've got the Spectrum Bow. I haven't really used the Spectrum Bow, so I'm not going to really judge it. Next up is the Spirits from the Spirit Catcher kit. We're going to put that in mid. It is a very mid item, not even at the top, at the bottom. This is the stun grenade launcher. I'm pretty sure I got the lobby gadget of this. You can, like, stun the enemies. It is a bit decent. It is a little bit decent. Next up, we got the normal sword. Boys, normal sword on top. We're gonna put the normal sword in god tier. Not because of the rarity, but because of how good it is. The sword is the best forgeable weapon, in my opinion. Next up, we got the tacky crossy bowie, known as the tactical crossbow. That's gonna go above the crossbow. As it is a little bit better than the crossbow. I don't know whether to put it above the floral crossbow, though. I think it's going to stay where it is. Next up, we've got the tactical headhunter. This thing is insane. I think it's going to go one behind the floral, since I do like the tick damage on the floral headhunter. Next up, we've got a taser. Like, bro, come on, man. It's a terrible weapon. You just tase people. Oh, now we've got the tennis racket. This weapon was the funnest weapon to use. You're definitely going up to the god tier. Um, I have no idea what this is. Uh, never really use it, to be honest. Toy hammer, bro. This thing gets on my nerves. The hardest weapon to get off in gun games. So annoying, man. For that reason, we're putting it in bad. Next up, we've got the twirl blade. I'm pretty sure it does quite a bit of damage, but we're still gonna put it in mid. Boys, we're getting close to the end now. Only six remain. Wait, I can't count. Only seven remain. Next up, we've got the throwing knives. I'm pretty sure you get like 25 of these. So for that reason, it's going in the mid. The trumpet. Yo, bro, just get in bad section. There's no, there's no like speech about that one. This is the Gompi's uh, vacuum. That's it. That thing is also pretty bad. 
Next up, we got the Void Axe. This is used by the Void Regent kit. We're gonna put it in mid. I'll have to use that later. And second to last, we've got the Void Sword. This thing is also kind of good. We'll put it up there and decent. And last but not least, we've got the Xeno Twig. This thing does 10 damage. Nothing to talk about that one.